Can ammonia be the energy source of the future? At the moment, the replacement of fossil fuels is mainly being done through electrification and the development of renewable energies that produce electrical energy. Renewable sources of energy face significant issues such as solving the problem of storage due to intermittency, long distance transmission, and being used in certain industries such as jetliners or large ships which cannot be easily electrified. One of the most promising solutions seems to be hydrogen as a fuel. However, hydrogen also faces issues when it comes to storage and transportation. Therefore, many businesses and researchers agree that ammonia could be a great way to solve this issue. What is ammonia? Ammonia is a chemical composed of hydrogen and nitrogen that is commonly used in fertilizers, but can also be seen in your kitchen. Ammonia production is an extremely energy hungry process as it accounts for 3% of the world's energy consumption and 1% of its CO2 emissions. How can it be used when it comes to energy? The most promising uses are in transportation, the shipping sector, which represents the sixth highest source of emissions in the world, and also as a better way to store hydrogen. Battery storage addresses some of the issues, but for large scale transportation, a liquefied form of energy carrier is a preferred option, such as liquid hydrogen and ammonia. These forms of energy storage provide flexibility to less flexible energy infrastructure such as renewables. The advantages of ammonia compared to hydrogen are its lower cost per unit of stored energy, in other words, it costs less to store it over time. Ammonia can also be easily rendered liquid and thus requires less energy compared to hydrogen, which requires a very low temperature of minus 253 degrees Celsius. Ammonia also has a higher volumetric energy density than liquefied hydrogen, which means that it does not need as much storage space, which is especially beneficial when storage space is limited, like on a ship. Ammonia also already has a reliable and established infrastructure around the world, as today, 180 million tonnes are produced yearly, mostly for agriculture. Other advantageous characteristics include its narrower flammability range, rapid dissipation in the air in case of leaks, and heavy smell, which allows for faster detection if a problem occurs. There are, however, some important issues and challenges that must be solved in order for ammonia to be a fully reliable carrier or source of energy. Firstly, most of the ammonia produced today uses the Haber-Bosch process to extract hydrogen from natural gas and uses fossil fuels to power air separation units to obtain nitrogen. Therefore, both of these processes produce large amounts of emissions. Another major issue is nitrous oxide emissions from burning ammonia. If produced in large quantities, can impact the ozone layer. Therefore, if ammonia is used directly as a fuel, and thus burnt, instead of as a simple hydrogen carrier, solutions such as selective catalytic reactors will need to be implemented. Ammonia also requires higher ignition energy compared to hydrogen. Although it has a higher volumetric density than hydrogen, ammonia is still far lower than liquefied natural gas, so it would require much larger fuel tanks. Ammonia that uses hydrogen from electrolysis will also need large amounts of water, which can be an issue in certain arid regions. The goal, therefore, would be to have green ammonia, ammonia that uses renewable energy sources, which is carbon-free, and as renewables costs decrease, ammonia production that uses electrolysis of water fed by renewable electricity would rival sites that use natural gas, also called blue ammonia. At the moment, it is cheaper to use fossil fuels as feedstock and fuel for the production of ammonia. But as legislation gets stricter and improvements in efficiency and technologies occur, perhaps ammonia could be produced solely with renewable electricity. There is also the potential to convert liquefied natural gas infrastructure assets that may be stranded in the future into ammonia terminals. We are already seeing several maritime companies developing projects to create ships that run on ammonia as a fuel cell. 
Therefore, it is clear that ammonia has its pros and cons. It has the potential to solve transport and storage issues the world faces as fossil fuels start being replaced. But due to issues with nitrous oxides, ammonia's place in the world will most probably be as a carrier of hydrogen and an alternative to batteries. Therefore, the goal would be to make the process of production and synthesis of ammonia and hydrogen carbon-free and develop the infrastructure needed. All this requires heavy investment and development, which remains to be seen. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and want to learn more about climate-related issues and solutions, don't forget to subscribe.